Right. So let's talk about death. There was a new article in the paper which was talking about scientists bringing the eyes of dead people back to life. It was found that photosensitive cells in the retina were responding to light up to five hours after the person has died. So now this brought up some comments from readers and are asking questions like, if the heart stops beating after a few minutes, when can one be classed as officially dead? Is it when the heart stops beating or is it when the brain stops working? Now, if you know, in a cardiac arrest, basically your heart stops beating, which means that there's lack of blood flow to the vital organs, such as the brain. Now, when you have your cardiac arrest, you know, within 20 seconds, there's already lack of blood flow to the brain. Now, to prevent permanent brain damage, someone needs to jump on your chest within that two minute period, which is a critical period. So within two minutes to prevent any signs of permanent brain damage, I think three minutes is the window. Anything longer than three minutes, we're talking potential brain damage already. And then if you're going on for longer, so more than 20 minutes, that's even worse. So that's the more you leave it, the longer the chances of brain damage. So we're talking about brain damage in the sense of, you know, memory, um, lack of recognition, not able to use your hands or your limbs, you know, speech, just losing that independence, you know, that you usually have, you know, sometimes you end up in a wheelchair just because you cannot use your limbs. So, you know, if your heart starts beating, someone needs to jump in your chest within three minutes, performing CPR, I would recommend that everybody should lend basic life support. You know, it's very simple. You can go online, you know, I've put links in my description page of how to do basic life support, which is called cardiopulmonary resuscitation, otherwise known as CPR. So when your heart stops beating, blood flow to the brain is reduced, which means there's lack of oxygen to the brain. I mean, you are classed as dead. So some people would say, I died for three minutes and then I got resuscitated and brought back to life, which is true because your heart stops beating, you'll be classed as dead because there's no signs of pulse. So you'd be told that there's no signs of active life. However, your brain is still active. So even though there's lack of oxygen to the brain, the brain is still working, which is why some people end up in a coma. So they're attached to this kind of pump where basically the pump is working for them, is keeping their heart working. However, they're not responding. So you tap them, they're not really responding, but they can hear everything you're saying, but it's like they're locked in the body and they're not really able to respond. So they're in a vegetative state, the brain dead. I mean, how many people would like to be in that state? You know, if you, if your heart was not beating, you know, you have brain damage to the point where you're not responsive, would you like if someone jumped on your chest and brought you back to life, only to be brain dead and you reliant on people feeding you, clothing you, you know, bathing you for the rest of your life? No, a lot of people wouldn't really want that. I certainly wouldn't want that. There's also been talk about, you know, when some people talk about, oh, they were dead for two or three minutes and they have some out of body experience, or maybe they saw some light or whatever or strange shapes sort of thing, okay? I mean, for me, if I'm gone, I don't want to be seeing lights or shapes. I want to see God, you know, I want to see Jesus because that's why I believe in, you know, I believe in God. So if I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, okay? But now I'm not ready to go. I've still got things to accomplish on earth. So drop in the comments what you think. I mean, do you think that if your heart stops beating, you're dead? Or do you think that you're dead when your brain stops working? Because these are two different things, you know, there's the heart stop beating and there's brain death. You know, you, you can be classed as dead when your heart stops beating, which is why in some cases they, you can see this, they put, they attach the sign, do not resuscitate. In certain patients that have lots of comorbidities, maybe they've got heart problems, they've got lung problems, it says do not resuscitate because even if their heart stops beating, they got resuscitated and they brought back to life would your quality of life be better than what it was before? Because then you realize that a lot of them are actually worse off after they've been resuscitated compared to before, you know, they actually died. So that is something to think about. And where would you like to go after you die? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in heaven? Do you believe that we have a soul? Mm -hmm. Or do you believe that we just, that's it, life gone? Something to think about.